Hey everyone, it's Tom, WA2IVD. Welcome to video number 10 in our IC7100 from A to Z series. Last time in video number 9, we finished up the regular standard memories in the radio and programming and using them. This time, we're going to take a look at a memory that you don't really have to program per se. It's called the memo pad. And this is just a convenient quick set of memories, kind of like a scratch pad, for just remembering frequencies as you're tuning around. I'm still on the road as we're recording this one, so the audio will be a little bit not up to its normal standards, but hopefully you'll bear with me. So, let's get started. So let's say you're tuning around the band, and you want to remember a couple of spots where you've heard signals, but you want to kind of go back and catch up on those in a few minutes. But you don't really want to program them into a memory, so what can you do? Well, there is another set of memories built into the 7100 called MPAD memories, and it's this button right here that says MPAD on it, and that is MemoPad memories. And it's a set of either five or ten, your choice, of memories that allow you to just quickly store something and then cycle back through a group of them to find signals. So let's take a look at how that works really quick. So let me turn the volume back up and I'm going to go back through here and I'm going to program some items into the uh, memo pad. So we'll start down near the bottom here or a little ways down. Oh, there's somebody tuning up. So I want to remember this. So I'm just going to press and hold M pad until I get the double beep. And all that digital noise that you hear is some kind of local interference I'm picking up. Oh, where is he here? So we'll remember this guy. See if there's any more here. Worth saving. Well, I guess that's it for now. I had some other stuff in the memory pad, so how do you access the memo pad? That's actually very simple, too. Instead of pressing and holding memo pad, you just press it briefly. And so. There was the most recent one. There was the one that I remembered before that. So each time you press it, it goes backwards in memories to the ones that you've recently programmed. And then here was one I had programmed earlier on 20 meters. And then here's another one here. So that's the fifth one. And then it goes back to where I last was. So. Your most, your current frequency in the VFO is sort of automatically in the memo pad at all times. So this is where I started from. And then that one I programmed, that one I programmed, this one I had programmed before. So let me go back to where I was. Let's find a couple more frequencies. This is an AM broadcast station. Go down below 150 here. Oh, remember him? He's calling DX.
There's somebody a little weak there, but we'll remember that one. So that's four that I've programmed. And I'm just going to pick an arbitrary frequency here. We'll just say 170.0. And let me turn this down a little bit. So now, there was the one I programmed before, again, and then these two. So it's a rolling memory that always remembers your most recent ones, and every time you press it, it goes back through them. That's really all there is to the memo pad, but it's a very handy feature if you want to program, um, you know, remember something really quickly. So again, you just press and hold memo pad to save one, and then you can just tap it quickly to cycle through the ones that you just saved. And that gives you, again, either 5 or 10. And we'll take a look at how you change that here in just a moment. Next segment. <coughs> Let me... find where this is so I don't sound like an idiot when I'm uh, showing people. Memo pad numbers is on page 4 of 7. Three, two, so if you would prefer to have 10 memo pads instead of five, you use the set function right here with the set button. We're gonna go to the settings and we're gonna go to the function menu, which is if we scroll down, it's on the third page of the settings menu. So it says function. So we'll tap function. And then there are seven pages of function menus and we'll go down, we'll start from the top and if we go down it is on the fourth page and you see here the third choice down says memo pad numbers and it says five and if I tap that I can go to this and I can have ten so again that's just a personal preference thing the reason they give you that choice I presume uh, is so that you can choose if you want to scroll through that many memories some people may only want to scroll around through the recent five because if you have 10, you got to press the memo pad 10 times to scroll through all of them. So I've now changed my memo pad memories to 10, and you'll see that it actually remembered the previous ones. I had some 20 meter ones in here, so it actually was remembering all 10 the whole time. So just for grins, we will uh, we'll go through them here and we'll kind of set these up in a way that makes it a little easy to find them. So I'm just going to go to uh, 131. We'll store that here. Let me turn the squelch up so you can hear the beeps. And then we'll call 132 the next one. And then 133, I'm not going to be right on the frequency here, 134, 135, 136, again this is just for example use, use here, 137, 138, 139, and 140, so that should be 10 memories, so now 39, 38, 37, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then back to 40. So there's your 10 memo pads. So again, that's personal preference if you would rather have 10 memories or 5, depending on how many you want to scroll through. And I think that's it for the memo pad. That wraps up the memo pad functions. They're pretty simple and can be very handy during contests or if you're just tuning around when there's a lot of stations that you might want to work. You can find a companion website for this channel at a2z.tech. You'll find a link to the website in the description for the video. The description also lists the manual pages that we covered in this video. 
If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, I would appreciate a click on that like button. If you're finding the channel useful, please consider clicking on the subscribe button. You can also click on the little bell icon to be notified when new videos come out. And if you have any comments or questions or corrections or thoughts, please feel free to leave a comment. I always like to see those. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Cured Smoke.